This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I mask one side of a model without affecting the other side? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a cylinder here loaded in that is a DynaMesh model, and it's very, very thin. So the question is asking about using masking. So inside of ZBrush, we hold down the control button on your keyboard. This is going to automatically select the mask pen. So while holding down control and clicking and dragging on your model, you're gonna perform a mask function. Now, if you do this mask function on a slim piece of geometry, you may notice that it's also going to affect the back side of that geometry as well. And occasionally this is not the desired effect you're looking for. So how can I go by getting the mask pen to only affect one side of the geometry? So to do this, you just need to hold down control to select that mask pen. And while you're holding down control, just navigate up here to the brush palette, then open up the auto masking area here and enable back face masking. So what this is going to do, it's going to set back face masking for your mask brush. Now you wanna make sure that you have control held down when you navigate to the brush menu and turn on back face masking. If you do not have control held down when you go to this brush palette up here, it's going to apply the back face masking to the brush you have selected. So make sure you hold down control, then go to the brush palette, go to the auto masking tab, and then turn on this back face mask. So now if I come across my model and hold down control and click and drag, you can see it's going to mask that front surface of the mesh. But if I rotate around to the back, you're gonna see that masking did not affect that other side. So that is how you can disable your masking from going through your model. Now this back face masking effect will work with most of the mask brushes, but not all of them. So if I hold down control again and I have that mask pen selected, I can come over here to the stroke and I can change this say to the drag rectangle stroke here. And with drag rectangle, I can apply an alpha. So I'm gonna select this alpha 19 and I'm gonna change my focal shift down to negative 100. So if you're using the mask pen with the drag rectangle stroke and you have that back face masking on, the back face masking will be respected. So I can hold control and drag out that mask like so. And when I release, it's just gonna be applied to the front of the model and it's not gonna be applied to the back. Now, if you switch to a masking brush, so something like mask rectangle, and even if you have this back face mask turned on for that mask rectangle brush, it's still going to mask all the way through your model. So if I take that mask rectangle, turn my alpha back to that alpha 19 stroke there, and now draw this out and then mask my model, you can see it's gonna apply that to the front of the model and also to the back. So the back face masking will respect most of the strokes that you can apply with a masking brush, but it's not gonna respect the circle, curve, lasso, or rectangle. So if you use any of those or any of those brushes, that back face masking will not be respected. If you need to use the rectangle stroke with an alpha to mask your model, what I suggest doing is just hiding the parts of your model that you don't want the masking to be applied to. So if I navigate to the side of my model here, I'm just gonna clear my mask out. I'm just gonna hold down Control and Shift to get the Select Rectangle Brush, and I'm just gonna drag out a rectangle like so, and I'm gonna hold down Alt, and this is going to hide the geometry that's in this red box here. And when I release, you can see now it's only left me with that front of that cylinder. So now I can get my masking brush with that mask rectangle, I can apply that masking to that part of my model, now I can hold Control and Shift and click in an empty spot, which is gonna bring back the entire visibility of my mesh. And you can see now I only have that front part of my model masked out and it has not affected the back side. So that is the process you will need to do if you're gonna use the rectangular stroke with an alpha and you only want it to affect one side of your mesh. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.